These albatross are the modern family of the animal kingdom. This bird is female, and so is this one. They're raising a nest full of babies together. And yes, they're lesbians. So why do these females make a long-term commitment to homosexuality? Well, keep in mind that sexuality in the wild is fluid. Animals aren't simply homo or hetero. Not only do the vast majority of animal species engage in a little same-sex foreplay and copulation, there are many that exhibit something called homosexual preference. This refers to the selection of a same-sex partner over an opposite-sex partner, despite the fact that opposite-sex partners are readily available. When these lesbian lovebirds require a sperm donation, it's never particularly difficult for either of them to find a male who's interested in copulating. Am I right, ladies? Copulation in these albatross, and in most birds, is not accomplished via the traditional penis-vagina route. There's one general opening down there for both waste and sexual products, called a cloaca. During sex, the male and female albatrosses rub their swollen cloacas together. Sperm from the male bird's testes swims through the female's cloacal opening and to her ovaries. And that's that. No cuddles for this casual couple because the female is already flying home to her bay and their unconventional family. It seems that the lesbian albatross simply prefer each other's company. Raising their offspring with the influence of two mommies allows the nest to be twice as productive since both moms can lay eggs. And they don't argue over the bulk of their domestic tasks. Yeah, they just accomplish them without complaining. While some albatrosses make partner switches every season or few seasons, some albatross females, like this couple, stay together for decades. A true testament that love is love. If you want to see more copulation creations, check out this wild sex playlist. Let us know in the comments what animal sex stories you want to see. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.